But first, leaders in East Peoria looking to start a big bridge project. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Well. And I'm Shelby Roberts. But the focus of that project isn't necessarily on drivers. Our Sheridan Herdig joins us live in studio to share the plans in the works and how long the project is expected to take. Sheridan. Mark Shelby, the Bob Michael Bridge renovation is nine months into the planning process. Taxpayers will be footing the $20 million project, but 20% will be matched by state funds. And now that construction is on the horizon. They're working towards making the area safer for pedestrians and bicyclists. $20 million allocated toward the Bob Michael Bridge, starting with phase one, the engineering feasibility study, and then moving on to phase two design and construction with the goal of improving safety. We're doing a deck rehabilitation project and as part of that we're looking at ways to improve bicycle and pedestrian accommodations. Karen Dvorsky with IDOT says having a five-foot shoulder adjacent to the five-foot sidewalk is uncomfortable, but there's an easy fix. So by putting them both on the same level and then providing the concrete barrier between the bikes and peds and the vehicle traffic, it'll just make people a lot more comfortable. IDOT leaders say this will make it safer for everybody, but particularly people who are disabled. Project coordinators have been meeting with community leaders over the past nine months to hear their thoughts on the matter. The hope is to renovate the bridge in 2023. And during that time of construction, it will be closed off to vehicular traffic. You can do construction quite a bit quicker, and uh, we feel it's going to be much safer uh, and for not only construction workers, we're uh, proposing to keep the bridge open to pedestrian traffic. While the renovations are made, there will be detours around 474 for through traffic. But there are still lingering questions about how locals will navigate the area. When asked about local traffic, leaders say they are unsure of a solution at this time. 